Hey, here we go with a 75% boards are better with bridge teacher Mark Nays. I did set up a Patreon account if you're familiar with that. That's a way for you to support uh, this content, support the channel. Um, I'm going to do some other uh, programs later on as far as an $8 one and a higher priced one for individual stuff. But to support the channel, there's a $3 option and that helps uh, to uh, support me to put these videos out. It's been a really long time and uh, you don't get to um, YouTube paying you until you get a thousand subscribers. So I'm gonna try something a little different, try a Patreon account. Um, the link is down below and I will also put together a video with how to do it because I personally haven't done it either. Um, so it's a way to support the channel. It's $3 a month and that would be great if you decide to, to do that. Otherwise, uh, please also like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. So on this one, I think this one was bidding and um, the play for the top board, uh, but I think for sure the bidding. Okay, so bidding wise, if you guys wanna take a look at what you would do, maybe cover up the top three boards, uh, but I think a club opening is clear. Partner bids a heart. So they're a past hand. So four or more hearts and six to 11 points, right? Then I bid a spade. Some people um, kind of say, we're gonna end up in no trumps. So they bypass the spade suit and partners still could have four spades. So call me old fashioned, but I don't bypass the four card major there if, um, if partner could still have it. So I did do it. And again, some people will bid a no trump there. Um, and then partner jumps to three spades, which is a little peculiar, but, um, so now I'm thinking there are four hearts and five, four spades or four hearts and four spades. But either way, I know it's an eight card fit. I decide to upgrade my hand. And I will tell you, this is something that I'm kind of kicking around is what number to add to. But aces are huge for suit contracts, okay? So once you find a fit, I think it's certainly reasonable to upgrade to at least five for your aces. And I have, I have, I have three great things here, all right? First of all, um, I have an upgrade, you know, for ace jack nine in the trump suit, which is huge. I have an ace in partner suit. I don't know it's this pathetic at the time, but that those both those cards prove, you know, will probably be valuable cards. And then I have another ace in, in a different suit. Okay, so so I upgraded this hand to say, okay, partner's got 10, 11, you know, that's plenty to get to game. I, you know, um, so this was this was a relatively easy bid for me, but consider, like I said, once a fit is found, consider counting your aces for more points um, than just the four. Four is a little light, even out of the gate sometimes, but um, it certainly gets this hand to certainly accepting this invitation with a 10 point hand by partner. Okay, so then in the play, right, I want you to figure out where you where you think um, the extra tricks are going to come from. Okay, so. Oh, I got to get, all right, so here we go. So we get a lead of the seven of spades, which um, is kind of unfortunate because when you look at this, this is a great suit, <laughs> great um, cards for a rough rough, right? Because I have, so roughing bath back and forth, I have all the top Trump. So this would be great if they didn't lead Trump, but uh, they did, all right? So, they, so go ahead and I decide, um, so again, have you figured out you haven't yet pause the video figure it out where your source of tricks would be how you'd play this one all right so welcome back and i decide to go after the heart suit okay again this is a pathetic heart suit but it's five right so i go ace 10 lose it and unfortunately lead back trump again <laughs> all right so here we go i win it uh, over there so I can lead another heart. So I'm hoping for a three, three heart fit. And then these two are set up. Fortunately, I didn't get that. This hand was out. So uh, to no avail, all right. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have to lead hearts again. So we gotta get uh, over there to do that. And then we go ahead, lead the heart, set up the nine of hearts. It's a lot, lot of work, right? <laughs> but, um, but it was worth it because others didn't do it apparently because this was a this was a tie for top board, um, and then okay so now um, I decide to uh, you know I, I'm basically I just have to get over there because I've got the tricks, I lead the jack of clubs and kind of hoping that we maybe get lucky in the club suit, they lead the spades and there we go, 
Oops, I thought I played the heart there. I guess I didn't. I just played another. Uh, so I'm trying to confuse them, figure out what they want to pitch, okay, um, is what I was trying to do here now I think about it. So now I play the heart and they got to pitch again, right? So that hand goes ahead and pitches the king of clubs, woohoo! Because <laughs> they think, you know, because I, I, I then played them in here, they think they have to keep this one to keep the diamonds. So they pitch the club and I'm good to go. And, and so anyway, so again, a couple things, the bidding and then the play, even if a five card suit, right, is to the nine, <laughs> it can set up. Five card suits are your best source of tricks. Okay, actually just rewind. Yeah, it takes me all the way back. That's a little easier. Okay, so we were able to eventually set this up. I was obviously hoping for a 3-3 three, three split. Odds are against that, but I still was hoping for it. Didn't happen, but we were still able to secure and make the contract. And hopefully you look for those same things. Okay, so remember those upgrades as well. You know, high card points, this would be considered a minimum opener because of the jacks probably, but the three aces and the solid trump suit were certainly uh, upgrades that, that would get us to game. All right, thanks for joining. Again, if you wanna support the channel, um, you can uh, sign up for that Patreon account. I'll get some more information about that. I just got that done. Um, so we'll, uh, you know, that can support the channel. If you are, um, you have other classes and stuff with me and you have a punch card and we do different things, but uh, the Patreon account is just a, it's just a monthly. And like I said, I'm gonna set up, um, a Q&A type of you know, live stream. So you can send me questions, we'll answer those live. And also maybe to set up another level to you know, not only participate in the, the live Q&A, but also then to have a game with me once a month where we, can, uh, where we can work on, where we can be a partnership and play together in a game once a month. So anyway, uh, thanks for your support and uh, please share these videos with others. And hopefully these help help your game. It's always something on this game. I just tell you, <laughs> always something to learn. Anyway, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.